What is up guys? Thanks for joining Step Gun today. I got a review on one of my favorite guns in the Classic Series. As you can see what it is here, it is not a real classic, but it's Smith & Wesson's new, uh, new take on the classics. And here it is. The Smith & Wesson Model 29-10. Alright, so as you guys may soon know, if you follow my channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I still am active duty in the military, and uh, I do real estate as well in Miami. Um, one thing you'll come to learn about me is I have quite a few firearms, and I am a big fan of the original Smith & Wesson Model 29-2, as you will see one of those in a video later on. Um, in my opinion, Smith & Wesson, you know, they, they did a good job bringing the classics back. As you can see here, you know, the bluing, it, it looks okay. You know, it's, it's nothing too great, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the first thing I had to do to this gun, believe it or not, you know, I took and shot a whole 50, uh, a box of full house rounds. And uh, the grips, man, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, these grips are, uh, I ordered these online. These are off an original 29-2, as you can see. They are a little bit, you know, worn out to me. It doesn't matter, you know, this gun's going to get shot a lot. Um, so I changed those right away. As you can see, these are way thicker than the ones that come on the gun. And shooting 44 Magnum with some really thin grips is uh, is no fun. Uh, 44 Special, I could probably do it all day, but uh, if you're someone like me, I really like shooting some full house rounds every now and then to uh, check my integrity with myself. Um, so a couple things about the gun. Obviously, you know, you got the six inch barrel, you know, it's, uh, to me, four inch barrel is, is not bad either. If you know, if you can get an older one, but, um, you know, 44 Magnum in a short barrel can be, uh, quite a handful, <laughs> quite a handful to be sure. But, uh, I have this gun. I, I as well have my eight and three eighths, uh, 29 dash three. We'll do a review on that as well. So a couple things about the gun. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and say right now, uh, Smith and Wesson did a really good job with the trigger. On this gun you know shooting this gun in single action I must say it is it is very very smooth um, you know as, as you can see the double action on this gun is as well super smooth uh, for all you crazy people on YouTube as well of course my gun is unloaded I don't have any guns loaded in my house um, except the one by my bed and that's easy to put a magazine in it and rack around when I need to so uh, double action on this gun is, uh, is pretty smooth you know you get your good break and we should have a break about right there. Yep, it's uh, very practical. You know, you got the original sights. They brought the sights back, so you can see here. Um, this gun, like I said, it, it's fun. Am I going to put a lot of rounds through it? Absolutely. You know, um, you know, if you follow, you know, I know people that have 80,000 rounds through the original 29-2s, and they're still holding. You know, obviously it's not a pin recessed barrel, but uh, like, like I said, you know, Smith and Wesson, good job on bringing it back. Another big negative on this gun, I'll go ahead and tell you, you can see everybody on YouTube talk about this thing right here, the little key lock. You know, when I buy, you know, new guns with the key locks, the keys go right in the trash. I will never use it, to be honest with you guys. But uh, I don't know why they had to put that on there. I'm guessing some sort of safety reason. But, uh, yeah, that, that's another big negative. You know, like and like I said, too, I'm not too mad. My guns, to me, are, are tools. You know, I, I go and shoot them a lot. So I'm not a big, you know, you'll see me wipe my gun down because, you know, obviously I don't want to get fingerprints on it, but I'm not like some people with the Colt Pythons that, you know, like, oh, I, I got to wax my gun because I don't ever want to shoot it. No, my guns are going to get shot. So to me, the bluing is not 
you know, a 1980s or 1970s hot blue, but I'm still satisfied with it. You know, it's still, it looks better than plastic. And it's uh, it's actually quite pretty. You know, I, I use Ballastol whenever I, sh I get done shooting. You know, I'll use some CLP every now and then as well, but you know, when I pull guns out of the safe, they get wiped down, you know, pretty frequently with uh, with Ballastol. So you can see you're opening it up. I right now have about probably 200 rounds through this gun. Um, it it is very smooth shooting, like I said, with the trigger. The cylinder obviously is very free as well. Um, bear with me here. I haven't gotten a camera yet, but you can see the cylinder, yoke, everything on this gun. Like it, it's fun. It really is. You know, for the price, you, you just really can't beat it. But uh, are there some things I would do differently? Yes. But um, all in all, I will say this gun is definitely worth the buy. You know, if you guys are going to put some rounds through it and you know put it in the collection i think these guns will be uh be worth something one day they'll be worth a lot of money i don't foresee you know the, the famous lock going away anytime soon just because of the the way you know guns are being built now in laws but uh in my opinion opinion i believe smith and weston did a really good job guys um this gun is very fun to shoot i'm a huge revolver fan as well um if you're looking to get into a wheel gun i will say you can't go wrong with any smith um they're just absolute funds to shoot so this is my girl as always thank you guys so much for watching my videos um here at step gun i'm super proud to have you guys watch my videos like i said i'm a military veteran and uh on this channel you're going to see a, a lot of guns no drama and a lot of fun um as i as i show and review to you all of my guns another thing i will say about smith and weston i was pretty happy about um i don't use it most all my guns stay in the gun safe but they did a pretty good job here with this box they brought with it as well so it's not too bad i like it all right guys be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and follow there will be more content coming daily if you guys have any guns you would like to see reviewed or maybe something i have i will most certainly do it have a good day guys